Yo, 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 what's good? It's your boy Jerry. Welcome to the Hoops Gen X Podcast. And today we got a special one for you guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, man. I got something crazy today. Something very, very crazy. So check this out. The Utah Jazz have officially traded Rudy Gobert. And they have sent this young brother to the Minnesota Timberwolves. And I see everybody on Twitter and everything. They are just bashing the Timberwolves. Like, why would you do this? Why would you do this? Why would you do this? What What is your deal? There's not one sound take on, like, why it was a bad trade. You know what I'm saying? I don't see one sound take on that. My thing is, in the offseason, it's built for you to do what you're supposed to do to make your team better. They just lost in the first round last year. Like, nobody's forgetting that. You feel me? So you got to do what you got to do to make your team better. Because you lost in the first round last year. That's not going to cut it for the next year. Do I think that this makes them a team that can get past the first round? You bet I do. I don't know why other people are saying like that that's not the case. This officially gives Cat a chance to really display what he can do out on the perimeter. Shoot shoot more threes, do the midi shot more. And Rudy Gobert, he going to be inside. Dude going to be inside taking stuff down. They, They trying to say the Twin Towers. I don't like giving people like all them nicknames and shit. I just like to see people who... Play basketball like it ain't that deep. I let all them other people do that. But what I'm saying is, is it doesn't seem like a bad fit. They get some more inside presence. You feel me? Dude long. It's Rudy Gobert. Like I don't have to tell you about the defensive asset that he is. Like, dude was defensive player of the year, three plus years. And I know he uh people was trying to talk about him this year and what he wasn't doing. But I just I just don't get I don't get people not being able to have a bad season. Like I, I don't understand that, and I won't. I'll never be able to understand that ever. Like people be on dick for no reason. But anyway, and my thing is like people are talking about the twin towers, and of Rudy Gobert and Cat. Like Anthony Edwards doesn't isn't still on that team. You know what I'm saying? Like D'Lo isn't still on that team. You feel me? So it's like. When you saying stuff like that, you really got to miss me with that because they got a crazy backcourt if you really look at it. You know what I'm saying? People just, they I don't I don't know what people are. I feel like you got to give a team a chance too before you just writing them off, especially like on, on paper, I ain't going to lie, this team look nice. On paper, this team look nice. I heard that they trying to trade D-Lo. But after that, like after the trade that they just got, I don't, I don't think that they should. Aside from all the extra stuff, though, what I want to say is, y'all get us, give this a chance, please. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people is just hating from the season he just dude just had. You know what I'm saying? So they trying to bring that energy onto his like neck. Like, can we get like the dick out our mouth? Can we please do that? Cause y'all is choking. Like it's 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 sickening. It's very sickening to see that. You know we gotta chill. We got to. All right. Now another blockbuster trade that ended up happening today. Now look, man. I ain't gonna lie. These Celtics. I was going for them in the finals. All right, and I wanted to see them win. I really did. And with this trade today, it's looking like they could do, go. Fuck, they can fuck around and go back next year. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you, bro. I'm keep it a whole bean with you for Bean Town. Everybody can they can hate, you know what I'm saying? But I like the sound of Malcolm Brogdon, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Robert Williams, and a Marcus Smart. I like that. I'm sorry. If if you hear that and and you and you. And yo, if you hear that and you not mentally aroused, then something's going on. You know, we need to get you checked out. Like literally the only thing 
with Malcolm Brogdon. Like, we know he can score. He can score the ball. We know that, right? But my only thing is, is like, bro been hurt, you know? And that's tough. I'm not saying do injury prone, because I don't even like to say that about people. Because it's like, you don't know what they got going on in their body. Everybody just be like, oh, yeah, he prone to injury. He be hurt a lot. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to say all that. I just don't. I don't like to put labels on people. That's weird. Get your weird ass on somewhere. You put labels on boxes. You don't put labels on people. Like, that's weird. But anyway, what was I about to say? Oh, yeah. If he can just stay healthy, then they should be straight, bro. They should definitely be straight. And this trade wasn't something that I was seeing coming. Matter of fact, I don't think nobody really expected it. There's going to be some people that was like, I told you I knew it. Uh, uh, it just made sense. It was there. It was there. We all knew. We all knew. Like, nigga, no, you didn't, bro. You, you really didn't. And, and you rude for lying like that. You really rude for lying. You need to stop. You need to stop. All right? But, yes, Malcolm Brogdon is now part of the Boston Celtics. And it'll be very interesting to see how that works out. Definitely makes them even more of a contender. And I don't even want to say contender because they just made the final. It, it keeps them it keeps them up there at the top right now. But, I mean, at the same time, bro. Hey, look, and this is something I don't see a lot of people talking about. And I don't know why I don't see a lot of people talking about this. Because this is a big deal. All right? So, Bo Bo, bro just went to the Orlando Magic. You feel me? And that's not that's not something I say lightly. Like, let me drop the mic with that shit. Cause dude is seven two. We know what Bobo can do. Like, we know he got the handle. He's like a dem like a 2K demigod. Like, if I went on a game, I made a player. I'm telling you, all my life, I'm coming out with Bobo. I'ma change his name because I don't want his name to be Bobo. Like, I want his name to be my name, type shit. But I'm 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 making, you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm making that bill. You feel me? And him with a Jonathan Isaac, with a Mo Bamba. Like, these is tall. These is, what, what is, what is like, because I'm not real good with history or coming up with names. I would come up with a name for this one, but, but I can't. But think of like the tallest, the gladiators you done seen in your life, man. All coming at you. I, I ain't going to lie. I know right now it's not looking sweet in Orlando because of the season they just had and everything. But you can real life. You, if you get Bo Bo to do, to, to do the role, bro, you can have him starting at the one. I don't care what nobody telling you, bro. He is 7 2 with a wild handle. And he, he, he can shoot the three, he can shoot the step back. He can shoot the float. He's a bro. He's a point guy. Like, look at his highlights. I just feel like he ain't been. I feel like he just gotta grow. He just need time to grow, and he been doing it. Shoot, y'all better watch out for the magic. That's all I'm gonna say. Everybody who talking trash, y'all tripping. People just be they. It's just because people just want to hate on the teams whenever they got bad records, and we just want to say this, that, and the third. But like, it's not. It's never. It's never over for a fucking organization. Like this is the NBA, bro. They can pick stuff can happen in the offseason, bro. As you seeing it right now. Like I ain't finna go no crazier like on that whole situation. But just know if it ain't this year, if it's if, if it ain't this year or next year. Well, I'm not gonna say this year or next year. I think the nigga only signed for two years. But if it ain't just know that they coming. All right? Just know that they coming. That's all I'm going to say. All right, man. We're going to end this one off with the DeJounte. I think it's the DeJounte. The DeJounte Murray to the Hawks um, trade that was made. I think it was made like yesterday. But I, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I'm putting this out a little bit later Cause I wanted some stuff to like happen Some more stuff to happen Like people was quick on it though You, hey, And salute to them <clears throat> But yeah um, And the thing is I don't like the Hawks ain't They ain't even give up nobody for real So like that was, a, that was like a steal That was a whole steal 
Of course, it looks like the Spurs is gonna go back into rebuilding mode, which is cool. Do what you gotta do, regroup. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, of course, I guess they wasn't as they ain't feel as positive as in what they had going on. You know what I'm saying? As everybody was thinking, but it's cool. So Dejounte Murray is now on the Hawks, and I'm gonna keep it a beam with you. That team, they looking con. Bro, I don't, I don't. I just, I do like the sound of a Dejounte Murray and Trey Young in my backcourt. I do. Think about it. Trey Young can start moving like Steph on some cold shit. Like he can start because he don't have to have the ball in his hands all the time, no more to scope. Like whenever, whenever it was just Trey Young and that that squad that he just had, nigga had to make everything. Like he had to make every, make all the plays. The ball always had to be in his hands for people to scope. And that was just what it was. You feel me? When it came out, they wasn't doing shit. You got to be honest with yourself. So, DeJounte Murray coming in. If he could be the ball handler. You know what I'm saying? Trey Young may not get as many assists. Or he might do. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. It could happen. You feel me? But it, it give him more of a chance to play more like a Steph Curry. That's all I'm saying. And... I wouldn't mind having another Steph Curry in the league. I'm going to keep it a whole being with you. That that would be kind of nice. And who else better than Trey Young to be that? Like, literally the replica of this nigga. Just a little bit littler. Like, he just a little bit littler. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? So. And then, oh, yeah, DeJounte Murray, he, gonna be, he, he, he will help them out defensively, too, of course, because he's so long. I should have said that earlier. I just, right now, I'm just chilling. But anyway. Yeah, bruh. <laughs> the, the, the Hawks done done soared in and and in the spur of a moment they picked up DeJounte Murray. Yes, sir. I, I I put that together. I sure did. If you know, you know. But anyway, um I feel like I feel like that's a good trade for the Hawks. Uh, and then for the Spurs, of course, they got some picks as well, I think. So just looking to build for the future. So yeah, good for both teams. Oz love and f- Oz fair and love and war. Yeah, all good, all types of shit. So yeah, um, let me know how y'all feeling inside the comments. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, just let me know how y'all feel, bro. I will see y'all in the next one. This is a crazy NBA off season, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like in the first couple of days of free agency. It's just been wild. Like, I think this is just day two. And we got all this stuff going. I, I'm all for it, though. You feel me? I'm all for the offseason moves. I'm just ready to see where KD land. And that's when we really going to get busy. I'm going to keep it a bean with you. Uh, I'll holler at y'all. And, yeah, y'all take it easy. Be safe out here, man. The Hoops Genix Podcast.